When you start the wind turbine simulator program, a group of synoptics appear. They are layered one on top of the other in the center of your screen. An executing form opens in the upper left portion of your monitor. The synoptics can be rearranged on the screen to suit your preferences. Click Run in the executing form to start a simulation. The blades move to the starting position in the wind nacelle synoptic. The same changes can be seen in the WT drivetrain synoptic in both the internal view and the farm view. Right click the synoptic and select the appropriate quality option for your PC. Click and drag the image as shown to change your view of the selected wind turbine. Click the internal view option to return to this view. Bring the electrical panel synoptic to the front and click the internal view option. Set the main switch to the on position. Bring the wind nacelle synoptic to the front and set a wind speed of 6 meters per second. Notice that after a few moments, the controller adjusts the value in the wind speed widget. Increase or decrease the value in the wind direction widget to adjust the nacelle to the wind direction. Watch the nacelle orientation change in the various views of both the drivetrain synoptic and the wind nacelle synoptic. Notice that as the wind direction changes, the nacelle does not arrive at the exact value of the wind direction. This is due to the yawing system operation. Notice that the wind vane signal widget displays a signal that continuously oscillates up and down, mimicking a real wind vane signal. Bring the control terminal synoptic to the front and layer the wind nacelle synoptic so that both are visible. Notice how the effective wind speed in the control terminal synoptic changes as you change the value of the wind direction. The value is affected by the disorientation of the nacelle. In the executing form, click Synoptics Control and choose Strip Recorder. A form opens with four sections, or recorders. The signals in a recorder share the same scale. To change the polling time frame, use the Sampling Rate option. Click this option and select one second. Select the Hard Copy Menu option to show a screen capture of the recorders. Here, you can measure the time distance between two positions. The pop-up menu allows you to fix a reference point. The hard copy can be copied to your clipboard or saved. To observe the wind turbine operation, bring the control terminal synoptic to the front. Press the Start button. Wait a few seconds and observe the ramp up of the RPMs. Bring the drivetrain synoptic to the front and switch to the various views to observe the wind turbine operation.
Layer the control terminal synoptic on top of the nacelle synoptic so they are both visible. Watch as the RPMs approach small connection synchronous speed, or 1000 RPMs. A message is received that the thyristors are on for a few seconds. And finally, the bypass is on. Bring the wind nacelle synoptic to the front and set the wind speed to 6.6 .6 meters per second. The controller sequences to change the large connection with bypass off and pitch to minus 15 degrees. Notice this is recorded in the generator RPMs out section of the strip recorder. In the control terminal synoptic, notice that as RPMs ramp up to 1500 or large connection synchronous speed, thyristors are on for a few seconds and the bypass switches to on. Take some time to observe how the generated power grows with the wind speed. Stop the wind turbine in the control terminal synoptic.